Go ahead. <laughs> So uh, you guys had had nothing but success since you got here. First uh, time you tasted defeat with UCLA. Uh, what was it like um, and how do you bounce back? Um, well, it sucked. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, losers, you know, losing is never fun, um, especially with this team. We got some competitors in that locker room. So locker room after the game, uh, wasn't a good time. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be jealous you weren't in there. Um, but again, you know, coach harps on it every day, even when we were winning, on to the next thing. Um, whether it's good or it's bad, we're on to the next thing, and that's kind of how we're treating this one. We got a big one on Saturday. Um, came in, watched the film some uh, this weekend and then this morning, um, and kind of put that to bed, and then we're, we're, we're moving on to Stanford. Dorian's just such a, <clears throat> excuse me, fiery, like emotional player in the best of ways. Can you think of any situation specifically where he's really motivated you, like during practice in a game? Um, it's hard to pinpoint one because I mean, there's a lot just in the little subtle things. Um, I think when he like he comes back to the sideline during the game and he's clapping, he's getting guys going. Um, did that some on, on Saturday when we were down. Um, but then just in practice, kind of how he, he attacks every day, I think is, is good to see for us. Um, you know, he doesn't take a whole lot of plays off, if any. Um, he's a guy that once, you know, I've said it before, but once he steps on the on the field, it's go time, whether it's, you know, Monday morning or it's, you know, Saturday, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, um, which is awesome for us to see and, and motivates us as an offense. Do you see yourself kind of matching that fiery energy or like, do you have your own way about going about um, I would like to kind of consider myself as just kind of a little more steady. Now, you need a little bit of everything. Um, could I use a little more fire, fire at times? Heck yeah. Um, I think some of those guys would tell you that. Uh, but I kind of just, you know, like to be a steady, steady presence, whether we're up, whether we're down. Uh, you know, just keeping guys going, uh, staying positive, being encouraging. Because, um, you know, we come back to the sideline, it's a lot of critiquing going on, whether we're up 40, we're down 40. Um, so I kind of just, you know, like to be the guy to be steady and keep guys up. You know. you come from, go ahead. It seemed like Oregon's secondary uh, was pretty effective at limiting separation a lot in mm -hmm. that game. Yeah. What were they doing? Anything that you hadn't seen so far this season? Why were they effective? I mean, they, they're just good. Those are some talented guys over there. Um, Gonzalez, eleven. Um, I don't, I don't remember his last name. Four, the nickel. Um, those guys are talented. And I, you know, they can run with with anybody. Uh, now, do we, like you said, do we have to do a better job getting separation versus some man coverage scheme? Yeah, um, that's something we'll work on next week. That's something we saw on tape um, and need to, need to do a little more of going forward. You uh, coming from Duke, obviously came from another elite academic institution. Uh, is there anything special about the way UCLA combines kind of uh, academics and athletics, maybe doing both at, at the highest level? Um, is there anything unique here going on? Um, you know, I don't know about unique. I would just say the, the expectations are unique. Um, so that in and of itself is a little different. Um, you know, you got to go to class to, to survive academically here. Um, you know, I don't want to speak on other schools, but I'd imagine, um, you know, it's, it's a li little easier to kind of, uh, you know, just scoot your way past in some classes. Um, but I know guys here, you know, they got to go to class in order to, you know, keep grades up, stay eligible. Um, but then also, like, I think guys here are, are dual minded as well. You know, we, we love playing ball and we love coming out here every day, but also we know, you know, the, the old cliche, 40 years, not four, whatever the decisions, 40 years, not four. Um, it is cliche. It's overused, but it's true, especially at, at, at this school. Is it any more difficult to abide by that 24 hour rule when, you know, it is a loss compared to, you know, a victory? It is. It is. Um, I think, yeah. Victories are easier because you kind of feel a little bit better about yourself and your team and moving forward. Um, now, I think if you kind of take the things that we got on Saturday and use it to kind of fuel you and motivate you and, and, and find things that we can get better at, um, you know, mention separation versus man coverage a little bit better. Um, you got, you know, I think you can carry that a little bit more into the week and kind of use that as a focus going on to Saturday. Um, but, you know, you got to flush it at the end of the day. Um, the result now there are things within the game that you can you can take and move forward with um, but the 24-hour rule deal kind of you know sticks to just the loss itself not being you know don't let one loss beat you twice
Does the rest of the team players, do they like kind of brief you on UCLA Stanford history? Do you know about? I like haven't I haven't gotten a lot of it. Um, I know it's been, you know, a battle at least the last couple of years. Those guys have been good and I, I think have beaten these guys um, the last couple of years. Um, and they're, you know, talented and they're good once again. Stanford but won like 11 times in a row? 11 in a row. One, 11 in a row. At one point. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, but it's not 11 in a row right now. No. Not, 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 not. Um, no, I, I got to do my research on that. <laughs> for sure. For sure. If I'm remembering correctly, I think I saw you playing some air drums to shipping up to Boston <laughs> at a previous practice. Um, so do you just like that song, or do you generally like to keep it kind of loose in the mornings? Um, I'm, so I'm from outside of Boston. Right, yeah. Um, and that's kind of the <laughs> anthem up there. Um, so yeah, that keeps me going, especially on Monday mornings when you, you know, you're dragging a little bit. I get a little um, dropkick Murphy's going. Um, but yeah, yeah, I like to say loose for the most part. Um, and that's an opportunity to do so. Good. Awesome. Good.